Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at how to use Python based plotting to verify the properties of a DTFT of a given discrete time sequence. So, we are going to look at how to use Python code based plotting, this Python based plotting to verify properties such as symmetry property and periodicity property of a DDFT given a discrete signal. Specifically, we are going to look at an example. Given the following signal, x of n equal to 0 0.9 into exponential of j pi by 3. So, this power n. So, this signal is a complex value signal and the values of n are from 0 to 10. Note that n is an integer. So, given this signal, we want to first find the DTFT and verify its properties using a Python plot. Clearly, the DTFT is given by x of e power j omega equal to the sum n equal to 0 to 10 x of n e power minus j omega n. By directly plugging in the value of the signal, we have summation n equal to 0 to 10, 0 0.9 exponential of plus j pi over 3 into exponential of minus j omega n. Note that there is a n over this product and this is equal to the sum n equal to 0 to 10 0 0.9 multiplied by exponential of minus j times omega minus pi by 3 whole power n and this complex number has a magnitude less than or equal to 1. So, we can apply the sum for a geometric series which is which basically makes the DTFT equal to 1 minus this value that is 0 0.9 exponential of minus j times omega minus pi by 3 whole power 10 plus 1 that is 11 divided by 1 minus 0 0.9 exponential of minus j times omega minus pi by 3. So, this is the DTFT. Note that the, the key point in this problem is that the signal x of n, the discrete signal x of n is a complex valued function. So, from the symmetry property and the periodicity property, we can see that x of e power j omega does not satisfy the symmetry property. Because when you replace omega with minus omega, then the resulting complex valued function x of e power j omega will not be same as its conjugate. That is the resulting function x of e power minus j omega will not be same as the conjugate of the original DDFT. However, when you replace omega with omega plus 2 pi, the function x x of e power j omega plus 2 pi that is shifted DTFT is exactly same as x of e power j omega. Let us look at the Python code to illustrate this to observations. Here is the Python code for this problem. So, this first section or the first block basically generates the discrete signal x of n and this one plots the DTFT. We basically plot the DTFT from minus 2 pi to plus 2 pi so that we can verify the periodicity property. So, this is the absolute value of the signal x of n. Since it is a complex valued function, we want to look at the absolute value of the signal. And this plot shows the DTFT, that is the amplitude spectrum and the phase spectrum of the signal. The amplitude spectrum and the phase spectrum of the DTFT. So, we can clearly see that the amplitude spectrum is periodic with period of course equal to 2 pi. Note that the x axis are basically digital frequencies as a multiples of pi. So, this is from minus 2 pi to 0 and this is from 0 to 2 pi. The amplitude spectrum from 
minus 2 pi to 0 is exactly same as the amplitude spectrum from 0 to 2 pi. Similarly, the phase spectrum also is periodic. However, the amplitude spectrum is not symmetric because the amplitude from 0 to pi does not match the amplitude plot from pi to 2 pi. Therefore, it is not a symmetric function. Thus, we can use plotting to verify the symmetry and periodicity properties of a DTFT. Thanks for watching.